Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the back room of my house. And I am going to show you this month's drawing winner's prize choice. Not much choice, there's one painting. But the cool thing will be that should you decide you don't want this painting, <laughs> you get half the value of it, which is, in this case, I'll make half the value $160 toward the purchase of any painting you want and I'll send you a book and I'll even put my name in it if you ask me nicely. Anyway, so we're going to do fantasy fantasy artworks and that would be the first one and I'm going to try my hardest to keep this from becoming a cluster and uh, things are a little tippy and a lot crowded and I, I'm thinking we've got like 41 so, if you have an interest in purchasing a painting, please feel free to let me know the time you see it at, and I will look for it. And I am just going to start whipping through these as best I can. These were the fantasy art, and some of them are early on, and some of them are more recent. But um, I'd like to sh be able to show you guys that there's metallics in some of them. And I don't know at what point in time things are going to fall over. This one is wired both directions. So... I love that. That was a, that was an inversion port fantasy, and uh, this is also one of my favorites from a while ago. It's it's very very different than the rest, and uh, I hope I do some more like that at some point in time. This is a more uh, recent part of this series, and uh, I just love the colors and the shapes are just so much fun fun to make. Here's me trying to do it in white, and with a nice white background for negative space. Here's one that was, I think that was around um, Christmas. Here, let me move some stuff away. Okay, that's not working. Don't fall over, please. Please don't fall over. Please don't fall over. There we go. Don't fall over. Okay. <laughs> that tripod is probably going to move. I may have to remake this movie, but I'll give it a shot. Anyway, if you can see, I hope, there's some beautiful metallics in there. And this is very recent, and that is wired both ways. That is wired this way, and this way. And I'm going to have to go check my camera and try and keep these from falling over while I do that. So please bear with me. I'll try not to smash into the... Yeah, I had a feeling I was missing out on some stuff. All right. So, <laughs> I'm shuffling. Shuffling and there's no room here <laughs> in any case and on we go or on I attempt to go and that is got a black background let's see what happens when I can I I'm never gonna know am I all right well I'm just gonna keep going and if I have to do it again I'll do it again so oh that's supposed to be in the other pile <laughs> well we have a garden mixed in and um you can see that. I'm not sure about the lighting today, and I'll put that in the other video. Excuse my head as well. Let's see which way that's wired. That's wired like that. And I'll bring these forward. You can see some of the metallics. I don't know if my light is blinding you or not. I'll have to look at the video before I run it. This is cool. I love this. This reminds me of a, of a Mardi Gras parade party. And I'm going to try and remember to bring stuff forward so you can see and tip it in the light so you have more of a chance. This has a, these have a little bit of dog hair and dust and uh, <laughs> they're in piles at my house. And if I need to touch something up, I do that. I've got matte black gesso and uh, a will to make a painting look perfect before it goes anywhere to anyone. And I've got still got more paintings than I need in the way. I can't remember what I called this, but I love it. The sea Bottom Celebration. Yes, it had a title. Cool. And I don't know how much... I gotta, I gotta get somebody to help me with this soon. Somebody's outside. And um, maybe that will mean that I can actually see what I'm doing and sharing with you guys. As opposed to just guessing. I don't know how far down to go with that or if you can see all of it at all, but uh, it is wired as vertical. And uh, this will do no matter what. This is a really cool piece. I'm not sure it's right side up. Yes, it is. It's right side up. And it could go another way. 
That might be the only way you see it right now. These are um, these are 18 by 24s. The ones that we started with, some of them were 18 by 24s, but a couple of them were not. And I'll tell you, if you inquire about something, I'll give you the size of it. I'm really thinking that I would love to know if you can see anything. And so I'm going to try and get behind my camera again. No, that's we're so so much too close. Darn. Okay. Well, I'm doing the best I can. And I think being back further is not a bad thing. It's all guessing. I don't like guessing. I like to know things. We've got shadows, like mega shadows. How about that? That's a not better. It's a little better. No, this is not working. Oh well. So I'll have I'll finish one bad video and uh, hopefully get some help and make another one. But uh, in the meantime, you can see a few things and the shimmers, and at least there will be one bad video up. <laughs> you could still give me a thumbs up; it would still help me out. So. That could be in the Weedy Garden selection, but it's not right now. But I think I'll probably include it again, because we're going to make this video again. This is um, something to do with dragons in the title. This is fluid acrylics before pouring mediums were added. I'm not sure how far to go with that. But I have a few other things to share with you. This was a five-part video, and uh, three or four of them recorded, and they were all horrible. And then... The paint started to congeal, and the camera shut down, <laughs> and uh, this incredibly beautiful painting arrived, and uh, is upside down, but it doesn't matter, because I think you could probably decide to hang it any way you wanted to, and I love it, but um, I'm sorry about the lack of a video, there isn't one, and here's some more recent stuff, and hopefully you can see that too, and I've got seven I've got eight minutes left I've got all kinds of time left so let's see if I can grab my black background and try and make some adjustments and make things a little better that's not better but if I go down a little oh my goodness what a cluster I can't really move back much which is what I need to do so this looks in amazing in person and uh, very nondescript on that camera right now. And I'm not sure what to do about it. But I will move on to a few other things, even though it's bad. And that's Happy Little Rainbow Bud. And I'm going to try and come over here and check and see if you can see any of that. And you can see some of it. Oh, I see there's a glass table reflecting now. All right. These, this is a double process. I did one painting and there is a video and um, I didn't care for it as much as I need to in order to fully appreciate it. It's got great metallics in it and it's got some texture from having a couple layers and it's a beauty. This one always reminds me of Peter Max. I don't know why. I'm not the only one though. It's, can I go down some more? Is that a reflection, or is that just lack of painting? No, nope, that's a reflection. So, let's try this. Let's see what happens now. That I will do for the next time. And everything seems to be kind of wrong right now, so expect that if you saw this video, and you want something, grab it quick, because I am probably going to pull this video. It might run for a few days, and then it'll be gone. I have a lot of fantastic paintings, though, that fit into this genre of artwork. And I call them fantasy scapes. And you guys can make a, uh, a request to me. If you need a playlist and you can't find one, I've just discovered that I can uh, copy the links and I'm saving them for you, sort of thing. They, the 16 by 20s look really odd <laughs> with the, uh, the other paintings behind them. They don't look the right shape at all. But simply as I have a little bit of time, 
I'll just keep playing with this. And since you'll forgive me, and you know that we're going to make another video, this is cool. I like that. And here's a sister. I don't think that's a dragon in the garden, but I think this one might be a dragon in the garden. Anyway, I'll put that aside. No, I won't. <laughs> Can I be more confused? I don't know. Let's see what that looks like. Can I zoom in a little bit? Sort of, kind of. Will that help? I don't know. I'm trying. This is from a long time ago, before I called them fantasy. And uh, I just love that painting. I love the half black, half white, and I could probably do a few more of those. I used to use a spoon instead of a shovel or a scoop to do those. This one is... This one goes two directions also. That direction and this direction. I'm actually getting a little more brazen about stepping over here and making sure you see stuff. Because I'm not sure how good the first part of this video is, actually. But uh, maybe you should be able to see at some point how incredible that is. But uh, I don't know. There's another one. I'm just going to keep stepping over here and checking. Yeah. That one has fewer metallics, but more bright, more brilliant, vibrant colors. And that's, that's sort of a crossover. That's abstract and fantasy sort of combined. And where are we? Here we are. I could move a few of these away. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll keep trying. I'm trying to get the hang of this. Zooming in. Tip it down. The gold in the light reflects a lot. What else have we got? We have more cool stuff. That might even have been such a long time ago that it kind of even looks like it might have had some silicone in its original production. And I'm going to tip that forward. Hopefully you guys can see. I would really love it if I would get a handle on this. Huh. Too close. So we'll go back again. Anyway, I had a stack. Okay, there it is. I've got a few things left. This was um, using up some leftover paints, but they were gorgeous paints. And I love the result of that. I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of shimmer in there. Probably more reflection than I can deal with, or that, than you can deal with. But at least these paintings will be out here all organized to make a better video. And that's upside down. And I'm not even certain that you can see all of that, but you are at enough of a distance, so maybe. There we go. Sort of, kind of. I'll just go down a little. I'd love to zoom in. I don't think you're going to be able to see that, fully appreciate that, unless it was on its side. But that is an amazing piece of art right there, that is. And there are two more in my chair. Oh, I saved one of the really early ones for last. Let's tip that up. That has a lot of shimmering texture. And um, I think it has some bubbles that are going to stay in there permanently. And it's an as-is. If you want that painting, it's as-is. This reminds me of sea monsters, or at least cool sea creatures. And I'm going to come over here and check again. I wonder if I actually put everything in there. Boy, that really warps the, the shape of things. I'm going to go that way and this way and hope that I think these paintings need a little uh, a little touch up on the black in a couple of spots. But uh, some of them are have been around more than a year or so. All right, so I should tell you guys that this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida in the back room making a terrible video that I will replace shortly. 
And if you want to help me out, you can look for the link to shop for the book and tools on lists, on the first list, uh, on my Amazon link, which is under every video. And I want you guys not to forget that the winner of the drawing and the painting I lost <laughs> in the mix, darn, um, <laughs> will get to have the equivalent value. Oh, I found a few more. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if you can even see those. Wow. I am so inept right now and upset with myself. We've got two minutes left. I don't think we're going to need them. But uh, that's wired that way. Yeah, I'm going to have to reorganize and regroup. There's just, it's not close enough. The lighting's not good. It's just making me a little crazy. Short trip. Yeah. All right. So that's kind of last. I should go back to telling you whatever I was going to tell you, which is I'm just going to read it off the list. But I'm also going to put that there. You know what? I think I'm going to throw that in the contest. And uh, that's a different value than the other one, but it's still a gorgeous piece of artwork. It hangs in, in one of the rooms of my house as a permanent collection piece, but I think maybe if somebody falls in love with it like I did, it might help me. The minimum donation to help support the studio is $10. And if you win the drawing, and there were maybe 17 people who donated last month, and some of them were a dollar and two and three dollars. So um, I'm, I'm not going to do an open an open contest anymore. If you want to help me out, I really need some help with art supplies. I really appreciate the contributions I've had in the past, but I paint all the time and I use them up and I've got the artwork to prove it, which reminds me, if you want to buy a painting, don't forget, check the time and let me know. Um, I said the winner will get the equivalent of half the value of whichever artwork, well, half the value of the larger artwork is obviously what it would be. So about $160 toward the, toward the uh, purchase of any painting if you want to. I want to say thank you for all the great comments you guys give me all the time. And I already said thank you for the contributions in the past. I really um, appreciate that so much. I have merchandise below the video. I've added maybe, you know, a hundred new items. And there are a lot of really awesome leggings there with my some really, really awesome pieces of art that just turned out fantastic as uh, all over design shirts. And um, if you're looking for Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Appreciation Group for Students or Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors Group for Fans and Collectors. They're on Facebook and you can shop my Shop Now links on uh, for Fine Art America and Pixels.com and you can find that on, to on Expressionist Art Studio Totes and more. And if you would please give me a thumbs up even if this video sucks. <laughs> I would really appreciate it because it helps the YouTube algorithm know where to place the rest of my videos. And on the end screens you will find um, over 800 videos now. I just hit a milestone and so um, there's over 79,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. But there's been a glitch recently and some of you are unsubscribed. So if you're seeing this for the first time and you're just picking up on it even though you were subscribed and you didn't get a notification, you might want to check that. I have attempted to put my email address and a reminder for you guys to check your settings to make sure that if you want notifications, you have them set up to, so you can receive them. This is me saying goodbye, and I love you guys, and thank you so much for stopping, and I will be making another video soon, and it will be a lot better than this one, I promise you. Um, I don't know how soon, and I'm pretty busy, so <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in on. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, and again, and... Um, I'll see you soon. Watch some videos. Do a little binging. Bye for now. Priscilla out.